For all things Pelicans, you're now tuned in to Pelican Post Game Report, PPR Weekly. We up in this thing. Shout out to the fam. Appreciate y'all. Please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, button, and by all means, feel free to share the show on your social media feed. What other Pelican faithful? And this one coming straight out of the Pelican scoop. Pelicans bring in Jalen Slauson for private workout as we get ready for the upcoming draft. The Pelicans have brought in former Furman sharpshooter Jalen Slauson for a private workout ahead of the upcoming NBA draft uh, as we get into the article. So it'll be interesting here. He's a Charleston, South Carolina native, projected to be a late second round pick who needs time in the G League. He was a fifth year senior, averaging about almost 16 points a game with seven boards and three assists. Not bad. While shooting 39% from beyond the arc, that's pretty damn good. Slauson was a reserve as a freshman, but started to compile a nice awards resume as a sophomore starter, Southern Conference Player of the Year last year, and was also the SoCon Defensive Player of the Year in 2022 and a two-time first-team All-SoCon selection in 2022 and 2023 as well. Ball. Well, you know, and, and they talk about his upside. Slauson's loyalty to the program speaks to his character. He used the extra year of eligibility granted due to the C-19 stuff and returned to Furman for one final season, leading the Paladins to the first NCAA tournament appearance in 43 seasons. Now, Furman earned the program's first NCAA tournament win in 49 years with a 68-67 to 67 upset win over the fourth-seeded uh, Virginia team. Slauson poured in 19 points, grabbed nine rebounds in the win, including a, nine, a streak of nine straight points late in the second half. Players like Slauson's scrappiness and skills usually find an NBA home coming into this thing. So this is his measurables. He was invited to the combine back in May 15th through the 21st, becoming the first player in Furman history to participate in the official measurements and shooting drills. He's 23 years of age. His position is listing him as a power forward, as you can see there. And you can see his weight is over 220 pounds there. You can see his wingspan there. So it'll be interesting to see how the Pelicans can deal with him. He had the pre-draft meetings with Boston, Brooklyn, Charlotte, Detroit, Memphis, and Oklahoma City. And kind of projected as a guy to get into the second round. So we'll see how they feel about him. Slauson will not be able to create his own shot or space often at the NBA level. However, he does have the ability to connect the offense as a point forward. Let Slauson run the show after a couple of years in the weight room. And he averaged four assists per game, four and a half assists per game per 40 minutes in his last three seasons. And Coach Willie could use another 0.5 decision maker that could spell Larry Nance and Willie Green's offensive system. You know, that switch everything. So anyway, this is what the NBA draft room scout said about Slauson. High IQ defender who makes a lot of plays on that end of the floor, has the ability to guard in the post. But the footstep issue limits his ability to guard point guards and smaller quicker wings lost in dedication to getting back on defense and stopping the ball after a tearing over saved more than a few points last season he also gets into the passing lanes and had 50 solo steals in each of his past two years coach willie green requires commitments on the defense to even see the court slawson would get a shot to show off in las vegas if he lands with the pelican so we'll see how that all works with slawson man and the Pelicans are taking a look at him to see what this guy could do for the squad. So with that being said, it's very interesting. Pelicans getting busy trying to find some help for the upcoming year to kind of help out as we look to kind of bring some talent to help uplift the Pelican uh, organization the team and get better production, man, for real. So with that being said, we're going to get out on that. Please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And by all means, feel free to share the show's links on your social media feed. I'm Big Q. I'm going to holler at y'all on the flip side. Go Pels.